Good morning. It's Saturday. Tonight is the final night of the Chongqing major and I feel <laughs> reasonably rested. I went to sleep at 4 a.m. last night after LGD lost 2-0 to Ichi, which I am still a little bit grumpy about because 2-0 didn't even win one game in the series. Tonight should still be just as exciting. Secret is playing EG first in the lower bracket finals. I will definitely prefer for Secret to win over EG. I'm sure most of the world wants otherwise. And then Virtus Pro is playing in the finals. But right before that match, there is actually going to be a show match, which I found very interesting. I saw it this morning. Let me see if I can pull it up. So this is probably gonna be hard to see. They will be playing against each other. Normally matches like this, I am not too thrilled about because they, rem they remind me of all-star matches where people are just fucking around. And I know it's good to have fun and everything, but I always feel like part of the excitement of show matches or uh, all-star matches is to see how well they play together at their fullest potential. And if they are just playing around for fun, then it kind of ruins that. So I will definitely be watching this. I mean, I'm going to be leaving it on all night, but I'm going to be so happy to see Wings Gaming playing as five, even if it's a show match. Until Dota rolls around, I am going to go to Del Mar. The main reason I want to go there, aside from the fact that I normally love to walk Riley there, is because I bought this and it arrived on Thursday. And this is a flea spray for your home, but I believe it is pretty strong in the sense that you need to leave your house for several hours and I need to bring the cats somewhere. So what I was really hoping to do was to bring the cats with me find a shaded area to park in, get the windows down, and then I would walk Riley for a bit. Hopefully it's not too hot out there. Del Mar does tend to be cooler than my area and it's quite windy there. So if I am able to find a parking space with shade, I will take Riley for a walk. I just feel like overall my trips to Del Mar usually take at least two and a half hours because it's 30 minutes drive one way. So that's already an hour. I normally walk Riley for 45 minutes or quite long. So with picking up food, I feel like that would be a good chunk of time where my house is de-fleeing. Oh, I'm still not a fan of having to take my cats out because I feel like that adds slight inconvenience to what I want to do. But even though I haven't been getting flea bites for the past two to three days, I tend to feel like in my mind, when I don't get flea bites, I'm like, oh great, life is perfect. I don't need to worry about this. But when I do get flea bites, I freaking hate it a lot. So might as well, even if they are possibly subsiding, I wanna seal the deal with this. So I still need to take care of a few things. I actually wanna give Riley a bath because she's starting to smell. <laughs> and I don't really, want that to linger around much anymore. Plus, since it's sunny out, I like to bathe her right before I walk her. That way she's drying in the sun while we're walking. And I'll definitely towel her down because in the past, I normally don't towel her down. I just rely on her shaking. And I did realize when I was at my friend's house in Goleta when we were trying to get her to swim, after she came out and I towel dried her really well, she dried pretty quickly, way faster compared to like at home where it takes all day and into the evening quite a lot for me to do because I want to bathe her. I kind of want to wipe out her crate in my car because there's a little bit of dirt in there from when we go uh, from when we go hiking, from when we go fetching, from when we go road tripping. I don't clean that crate in the car very often, so I kind of want to do that so after she gets her bath, she's not going to be just dirty again. And then I need to put my cats in the car along with her so I can have the house empty so I can start spraying. Uh, people actually recommend that you wear a mask when you spray this. I unfortunately don't have one, so I might just try... I'll try to do the furthest areas of my house and then work towards the front door and maybe just do this, cover my mouth, hold my breath as much as possible, and get it out of the way. I would like to go for a joyride today, so I want to do that after I get home, and then 
I am kind of hoping to look through my closet and see if there's anything I can clear out because whenever I talk to Shane about moving locations, I think about how nice it would be if I kept keeping my belongings down to a small amount and I feel like there's a good amount of stuff in my closet that could probably be better organized or disposed of. So, for example, I have, you know, when things come in boxes, people tend to keep them just so they can put them in that container when they're moving maybe, but I'm not really sure I like just having boxes lying around. I think for certain items, it's not that bad to just pack them as they are instead of having a dedicated box. The only box I think I would keep is my TV one, which I do have in my closet. I was kind of hoping to go through my closet today. I'm not sure if I'll get to that today because if I do Del Mar and then I do my joyride, I feel like it'll be already five o'clock by then. Although I don't think Dota starts until eight o'clock, so might still have plenty of time. All right, first order of business, I will go wipe out the crate in the car and then do the other stuff I mentioned. Come on. Kitties, Samuel's butt, clean pups, meowing Milo, everyone's ready to go. All right, finally got the whole house sprayed down. Uh, there were a few times where I was trying so hard to hold my breath that I was like, fuck, I gotta just breathe. Hope I don't breathe any of these fumes in. But what I noticed was that they, sometimes the spray left a white residue. I'm kind of hoping that goes away over time. I would hope so. There's a guy doing grass trimming super close by, but it is right now 1222. So I'm gonna aim to come home at 3.30ish. Just hope that my house is gonna be rid of those disgusting ass fleas. So I'm too lazy to pull up my camera all the time. It's bulky, it's in my backpack, it gets annoying. So I am going to try out once in a while if I'm out in the day and times like this when I'm walking her where I have my hands full, I'll just record with my phone using 4K and we'll see how that turns out. I'm recording in 30 FPS because my camera is 30 FPS. It would be pointless to record in 60 and have to downgrade it anyways. So it saves some space, but I have her here in a down because earlier there were people walking there to German Shepherds and just in general, you know, people will get nervous if your dog is off leash. So by doing this, I just feel like it shows them that I will not allow her to bother them and that she's well behaved and well trained. So they feel confident just walking by without any bother. But she just got done running around the grass a little bit. I was trying to entice her to just run around in circles and hunch back a bit. So that's why she's panting, but we can't let her off now. Most of the dog people are gone. Break, good girl, go pups, go. She's not gonna go. But yeah, you can see she actually looks uh, fairly dry already. 
And it's kind of interesting how you see that brown or reddishness, reddish oranginess underneath her fur. She had a fair amount of that when she was a puppy and I actually really like that color, but now it is covered by gray. I have just returned from my walk and they just chillin'. Milo, you're not gonna greet me back? Fine. Man, my socks. I have had the same pairs of Puma socks for years. I'm pretty sure I bought them two, three years ago and I've been wearing the same kind forever. So they've been starting to stretch out a little bit where they're sliding down my foot when I'm walking and I decided to buy more socks from Puma, but these tend to be one size fits all. So I feel like they are too big for me where they freaking slide down when I walk and it's so annoying. I still have an hour and a half of fucking around. So I was thinking of driving around and looking at stuff because oh, earlier when I was letting Riley run around the grass area in this neighborhood that I really like, it overlooks the coast and part of the highway. But uh, I feel like I might have ran a little bit. It was a very small amount of running, but I feel like doing that uh, triggered my kneecap a bit. So after that, when I was walking with her normally, my knee was so bothersome. It's still a little bit bothersome. So we didn't walk as far as I would have liked because I'm honestly freaking concerned. I'm somehow just still making my knee worse. I do have an appointment to see the doctor on Tuesday because I need to address this. I can't keep going on like this. It does suck to be spending that money. Every time I visited him, it was about 20 something dollars. So if I go weekly, that's already a hundred dollars a month, which is a lot. So I kind of hope it doesn't have to be weekly, maybe every other week. I just need some guidance. I need to figure out which activities I need to cut out for now. I'm wondering about horseback riding, honestly, because it does put a bit of strain on your legs. So I need to ask him and see if I might need to put a hold on that. All right, let's see where to go. Someone linked me some driving roads in San Diego. And when I pulled up my map, they are still here for some reason. So maybe I'll try to go to one of them. Wait, am I familiar? Am I familiar with that one? Yeah, I think so. So this one, I am pretty sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so that one day, the ride that I did right before the new year happened, when I turned on to that random Ramona road, this is it, which is funny to see because basically goes over east towards Ramona and then I will probably just go south back to my house. We go and uh, so it's so nice to just it's actually kind of funny to have cats in the car when they're not making noise because it feels like they're not there and sometimes it's actually really cool to me when I have pets in the car and they're not making noise because I feel like that's best actually when people aren't even aware that you have a pet in the car because there would be times maybe in the past where I would go hiking with Shane and Ryla would be quiet the whole time it's like she's not even there and that's nice <laughs> I am finally home, but now it is time to go for a joyride. So I put on my boots. I have been out all day so far, and honestly, it is really tempting to not go for a joyride today because it would be nice to just relax at home after being out for three hours. Tomorrow, I am still hoping to go to Temecula for Mondio Ring. So because of that, oh my God, these boots are so annoying to put on because the zipper area, sometimes something gets stuck. And when it does, it is really hard to undo. If I do that, I don't really think I would consider riding tomorrow because that drive is an hour and a half one way. And I'm sure by the time I get home, I'm not in the mood to go for a joy ride, so. I wanted to go today so I could get it out of the way. It might be the wrong way to say it because it sounds like I'm doing it out of obligation. <laughs> Maybe partially because I've been planning my day where I'm like, 
spray my house, take the pets out, and then go for a joyride, and then come home, maybe play some Smash, and then Dota time, so my day is packed. I have no time for deviation. The funny thing is I think I'm gonna do the exact same route that I just did on my car. And at first I was thinking, that's kind of stupid since I'm doing the same exact route in a row. But being on a motorcycle is so much different and being able to see stuff without being enclosed will be nice, I'll feel the wind, it'll be fabulous. Oh man. <sighs> I don't know what is wrong with me. Okay, so ah, I just played a little bit of Smash with somebody and it's not a stranger. So I would hope that I wouldn't feel, you know, extra nervous or something. Sorry, I'm uh, prepping my salad for eating. I just get so many nerves sometimes. So ever since starting playing, I feel like it was only maybe 30 minutes of playing just now, 20-30 minutes, and I'm shaking. I feel myself shaking and I, it's like nerves and it's so bothersome. I don't know why I get this way because it's just playing some 1v1. I feel like it really is just 1v1 nerves and maybe it's extra worse since, you know, fighting games you have to input a lot of stuff and maybe aside from that I was getting really frustrated with the delay it just makes you want to play local people more but at the same time I don't want to play stranger local people I want to play friend local people so it's a dilemma I feel like I'm not gonna win ever but I have a Panera salad I'm awful honestly actually my groceries are on their way so I should put out some pants I freaking hate being interrupted sometimes when I'm playing games and I'm not wearing pants and then my groceries arrive I gotta run around, find the nearest pair of pants, and since I am aware that it's coming soon, I will be ready this time. But Dota starts in two hours. It would have been nice to take a nap before then, but damn, my body is still pretty cold from the, uh, the ride. I had heat gear on, but I feel like heat gear is kind of like temporary heat, but Internal temperature wise, my body is still cold. So it's like a band-aid, not a, an actual solution. Okay, Dota is starting tonight. And right before I sit down, the match already started. I am going to let Riley out to piss because we are going to be sitting on the couch for hours to come. Let's go secret and then Berta's Pearl in the Grand Finals. Oh, yay! Grand Finals is slated to happen soon. Although, man, I kind of feel like they're being rather slow. The show match took a while to get started, which was actually surprisingly entertaining to watch. And Wings won. It wasn't a boring all-star match like I thought. And it was really nice to see Wings as five again. It made me sad, but happy seeing them joke around in the booth, smiling at each other, laughing. So, I don't know. I'm just uh, trying my hardest to stay alert. It's already 12.22 and we have a best of five, so must be energized without monster, no more monster. I haven't had food in a couple hours. The last thing I ate was grapefruit, so I'm gonna let this sit because I want my oats to not be hard anymore. And I was gonna do maybe 10 minute no break ab workout, so my, my knee honestly feels like shit today. For everyone that likes my videos and everything, room for VP mentally, even if you don't give a fuck about Dota, okay? Hi guys, it's Sunday and I am just about to head out to the Mondio Ring Trials. It is actually not an hour and a half, an hour 15, and I'm kind of hoping that I can cut that to an hour with my driving. <laughs> But yeah, last night was, I don't want to always use the words disappointing because then it makes me feel like I'm not actually enjoying it because of the outcome being different than I was hoping. VP lost and it was actually pretty disheartening because they were so dominant for most of the tournament. Oh, hello. 
they were super dominant for most of the tournament. And then yesterday, the first two games, they lost in 20 minutes and 17 minutes. Super duper stomped. So I was like, what the fuck? I waited a couple days to see my boys play and they're playing awful. So they did manage to turn around the third game, but it was really close still. They nearly lost several times in that game and it was so stressful to watch as someone who was like in disbelief that they were playing like trash or they were just straight out drafted as well maybe. So I couldn't stay up any longer. It was 4 a.m. by the time the fourth game was gonna start. So I just went to bed. I was gonna try to watch some in bed, but you know, freaking tired. I'm just gonna fall asleep. And I did, woke up at 10, 30-ish, took her for a quick walk. And actually, my puppers, you stay back because I wanna record your face. So I've been bad in another way to her. I haven't been switching her e-collar on different sides. Normally you put it like under her chin on the side and then either side. So I was thinking since I'm using comfort pads, the contact points on those are different. Normally on the regular e-collar contact points, it's normally a bit more pointy. So that would obviously be not as good to leave on one spot for too long with all the pressure it's doing. So since I have contact points, which is more rounded, I was thinking, oh, I, I don't have to switch sides. So I would shave her down and put it on and just leave it for six hours. Usually around the six hour mark, I would give her a break from it. Like for example, in the evening, if I had her on place, she was on place for three hours or something, I take her off place and it's time to just chill in the evening, then I would just let her have it off for several hours because she's just laying on the couch. It doesn't really matter. She's well behaved enough indoors that I would trust her for that. She's getting little sores on her neck. Um, the one on the right side is a bit more prominent because that's the side I've been using for a long time now. So it is a scab right now and I definitely don't want to put the e-collar there anymore because I want to let it heal. The other side, I shaved her down also a little bit and it did have a very tiny scab this morning. So I'm not happy about seeing that, but I guess what kind of can be annoying is that I'm going to have to shave her down again somewhere else maybe, or I will use that same side and then shave her down somewhere on the right because the new side is this side. Don't focus on my finger. And then the new side, the old side is this side, the new side is this side. And I need both sides to be shaved down and usable because of needing to switch sides. But just wanting to not bother with figuring that out just yet. I walked her briefly this morning without an e-collar. I, for some reason, stupid anxiety. I get nervous when the idea of not using the e-collar comes up, even if it's for a couple days or maybe up to a week. If I wanted to let her sores just completely heal without the e-collar, I'm a little nervous about that, but maybe I should give it a try because honestly, her behavior does not differ with it on or off because we've been using it and training and having our routine for two years now. She's three years old now. So two and a half years, I'd say, we've been doing the same shit every single day. So I feel like there really isn't that much for me to worry about. I don't know. I'll maybe see if I'll probably just shave down new areas and then try to switch it every two hours. I think two hours sounds good. In the past, I would do three. Three might be too long, but I want to go because the event is already halfway in. It starts at nine and it's uh, going to end at five, so... With a one hour drive, I'll probably get there a little bit past noon. Okay, pups. Come on. Down! Get over!
I'm the Northern California extension of oddball that near Chico. Yeah, they adopted me. I'm further north from Jimmy. Yeah, if I'm gonna go to Jimmy, then I might as well come here. Cause he's like four hours. I've heard of him. <laughs> I wonder if I have it. I know Adrian. I finally made it here. It was a little nerve-wracking because when I first got to the property, okay, actually, I actually I didn't realize that I had the wrong address on my GPS, but I actually drove into the wrong place. The gate was open, so I was like, oh, this must be it, and it was the wrong property, so I felt awful. Hopefully the owner didn't see me just trying to trespass, but when I got here, the gate was closed and there was a note on the ground that I only saw maybe five minutes later that there is another gate to enter in. I'm in some little trail area right above the property, which is super nice. And honestly, this area is really beautiful. Temecula is somewhere I've never been, but just driving around here, there's so many ranches, there's so many wineries. 
it's so nice so this is another place I could add to my bucket list for potential places to check out if I ever want to settle down. I made a terrible choice. I did not bring any snacks. Oh, okay, gotta switch my hand. Oh, my left arm is weaker. Um, I didn't bring any snacks, which is so stupid because all I ate was oatmeal this morning, so I might have to go get some food. I need to get more gas. I only have two bars left. There's so many dogs here, as expected. This is a dog training academy, actually. I was at first concerned that it would be someone's private property hosting this, but yeah, dog training academy with this freaking amazing location. I'm so jealous. Um, earlier I saw, oh, but get off me. Earlier I saw one dog that was doing his trial it is cool though, seeing Belgian Malinois, they are definitely a breed that interests me, similar to German Shepherds, but now that I've seen Belgian Malinois, they might be a little bit higher for me. There were some brave souls that brought their dogs here, but they're most likely not as anal as I am because it sucks. If I bring Riley places, I want her to be super well behaved, right? But we don't have good practice on that, so that's kind of unfair of me to ask of her. So if we were to come here, I would be a little agitated if she was showing too much excitement, which she naturally would because she's not in these situations often. So I would have to bring her to places like this constantly for her to behave the way that I want in these places, which is to be not different than somewhere familiar so i would want her to just be chill like not giving any fucks that there's all these dogs and people around dogs barking all of that i just want her to just no care but she wouldn't so she's home chilling sleeping and my arm is gonna fall off so i'm going to head back over and see if they started the next one yet i am probably going to head back now but i definitely need to pick up some food because i'm hungry I always get screwed over by not carrying cash. I hate cash. I like it when my money is all consolidated in one place, AKA my bank account. So I never carry cash. I always feel like if you use cash, sometimes you lose out on money because when you get change back, you don't care about the coins, right? Most people just discard them. I wouldn't, I'm not saying trash them, but they just displace them and then don't remember where they put it or they don't care enough about it and I feel like that change adds up to a lot of money over time so I just never carry cash and they were serving food that actually looked pretty decent earlier and I was <laughs> feeling bad because I can't buy any because I don't have fucking cash what sucks about places like this is there's no service up here I do think it didn't feel I guess it didn't feel like I fully enjoyed my time here for making the hour drive worthwhile. I am not certain if there's others that are going to go. I could have asked somebody, but it's pretty hot out there and there's nothing to really do and I'm hungry. I could always come back. I'm gonna find something to eat. I just had to stop and stare at this house for a little bit. So the house is super nice, obviously. I'm assuming it must be new because there's like no landscaping and it's just feels empty but what a grand beautiful house <laughs> all right I continue on my journey Good job. Good? 
I was originally thinking I wanted to take a nap right away because I'm still lacking a lot of sleep and I really want to make sure I get enough sleep for this upcoming work week because I've been feeling kind of crappy these past few days. The weather was still so nice out and I didn't do a very long walk with Riley in the morning because I wanted to leave to head out to Temecula right away so I just walked her. Now I finally get to settle down. I think I'll finish editing this vlog really quick so I can start rendering it. For 4K video, it takes hours to render, so I like to just, what the frick? <laughs> oh, pups. What's wrong with you pups? I just wanted to record this really quick because today is actually a special day. Today is my brother's birthday, Victor. He's turning 30, and I haven't seen him in a while. I The last time I saw him was right before I moved, so it's been over a year, almost two years now. I uh, did text him happy birthday. He's not really doing anything today. I feel like as we got older, our birthday is special to us only and we don't always feel compelled to do something grand for it. Or that's just not my personality. For his, I feel like he has died down from that socializing aspect. Oh, she's right next to me. I was like, who? I thought a cat was like sniffing my ankle constantly because there's just hair against my foot. Yeah, happy 30th birthday to him. I have no idea when I'm going to see him next because for my parents at least, I plan on seeing them in Vegas because they bought a house there. In general, I would just like to go see their house anyways. So when they close, they'll probably fly out and I will drive over and we will have a little Wang reunion. <laughs> well, yeah, just to close this out, happy birthday, Victor. I miss you and I hope everybody else had a wonderful weekend.